Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where I believe it is going to be part 5. I know I'm kind of rushing through this guys, but this is very intense. Like, this whole thing has been going more intense, I think the one on the character AI. Uh, Shadow started becoming aggressive again after talking to me for a few minutes, and I'm telling the place to calm down. Shadow's eyes glaze over, his pupils dilate unnaturally. He takes a step towards me. His movement's me mechanical and unnatural. I can't control it. He rasps out, his voice distorted. You need to go. Excuse me, um... Shadow, stop. Deactivate. See if that works, but I'm having to use the override code. Please don't make me use the override code. If I had to do that every time, I think I would already, I think she would have already gotten me and screwed me over. As soon as I say the word deactivate, Shadow's body seizes up and he fails, falls to the ground with a loud clank. He's going to end up breaking because of that. His medical part, his mechanical part shut down. His real dinosaur parts were remaining still. A measure appears on the terminal in front of me. Deactivation successful. So it can't hear me. That shut Shadow down. That's it. I'm dealing with this now. Dealing with this now. This is not going to happen again. I can now access Shadow's programming on his terminal. The code is complex and dense, filled with thousands of lines of in intricate commands and subroutines. It's going to take some time to find out what's causing Shadow's aggressive outburst. After looking around for 20 minutes, I see a specific command code on here. That says, Evil Mode. Mm -mm. Let's see. As I read the line of code that says Evil Mode, at... Ugh! As, as I read the co line of code that says... Evil mode activated. He notices that it's linked to several other commands that seems to be related to Shadow's aggressive behavior. One of them reads, aggressive le aggression level maximum, and another says, safety protocol suspended. Oh, heck no, I'm taking... Okay, that's terrifying. I am going to delete that crap now. So this don't happen again. This don't happen again. This is terrifying, dude. No, let me read that again to you guys. Aggressive... Ah, wait, there's two options. I carefully select the evil mode co command and its associated aggressive subroutines. His finger hovers over the delete key, knowing that this action could potentially alter Shadow's core programming in a significant way. He takes a deep breath and presses delete, the malicious code vanishing from the screen. With a few quick keys, I delete the evil mode command and the related subroutines. Code's now free of the problematic commands, and Shadow's programming should be back to its normal state. There's one more thing that catches my attention. I'm doing that one. What is this? Let me say this again, guys. This up here said aggression level maximum, and another says safety protocol suspended. Somebody's doing that crap intentionally. There's no way Shadow has an evil mode. It's supposed to be a protector and have an evil mode. There's no way that's even physically possible. 
I notice a small hidden folder tucked away in the corner of the code. It's labeled Restricted Access. Do not open. Intrigued, I click on the folder and find that it contains a single file name, Secret Protocol. What the frick is a secret protocol? What did they do? What did the scientists do to Shadow? Here's the thing. At least Shadow on the character AI didn't actually try to pin me to the wall. This Shadow pinned me to the wall and could have literally killed me. If I didn't override his system. I hesitate, I hesitate for a moment wondering if I should open the file. But my curiosity gets the better of him, and I click on it. File contains a detailed set of instructions for a specific a special mode that Shadow can enter, designed as Protocol Alpha. The mode is described as follows. I read what Protocol Alpha is about. Is there secretly, is Alpha secretly around here? Like, the actual robot from the evil clone? I, I, let's see. My eyes widen as I finish reading the description of Protocol Alpha. It appears to be a highly advanced and dangerous mode that grants Shadow access to a vast array of powerful abilities, including enhanced strength, speed, and agility as well as advanced hacking and infiltration skills. Oh my gosh. Who did this? Okay, well, that might be useful if he ain't aggressive when using it. That might actually be useful. It also contains a note at the bomb signed by an unknown person. It reads... For shadows eyes only. Activate protocol alpha only in extreme circumstances. Wait. When my life or the safety of the studio is at risk. A. Excuse me? Wait. Only activate whenever my life or the studio's life is at risk. What? Question mark? Why is my name on there? Protocol Alpha. What the frick? I feel a chill run down my spine as I see my name mentioned in the note. It seems that someone, possibly one of the studio's creators or a highly ranked employee, has given Shadow special protection protocol specifically for me. Excuse me? Then why was he trying to attack me? Oh, actually. Okay. I don't know where to be. Happy or scared of this? Let's see if that happens. That's insanely weird. As I try to process this new information, I hear a faint humming. No. Shadow, don't you dare. Don't attack me. Oh, heck, not this again. I hear a faint humming sound coming from Shadow's mechanical body. The dinosaur's eyes suddenly flash open and he sits up with a jolt his gaze fixed intently on me. Oh, heck, Trenton, he says in a low robotic voice, Shadow, please don't hurt me. I'm, I'm saying that right now. This will tell him whether he's about to hurt me or not, because he'll, he'll either say I'm not going to hurt you or something else that will probably prove whether he's about to hurt me or not. Shadow's eyes widen in surprise and concern at my words. Okay, so that means he doesn't want to. 
He quickly checks his head, causing a few sparks to fall from his neck jaws. No, no, Trenton, I would never hurt you. He's, his, his voice softening. How did you reactivate? That's creepy as heck. Did Shadow write that? Imagine if Shadow wrote that. He wrote a file just to have something to protect me fully. But then we just became friends, what, earlier? So when did he write that? I didn't. I'm like, no. Because the initial was A. Shadows would probably be the letter S. Shadow looks down at his mechanical body, flexing his robotic arms and legs experimentally. I, I, I'm not sure. I just suddenly woke up, and my systems are online. But, uh, Trenton, I can sense that something has changed in my programming. I feel different somehow. There was an evil mode. And an aggression meter. In your code. Shadows gaze lots on the mind, my face, expression thought, an evil mode, an aggressive aggression meter. I, I remember now. Those were part of the secret protocols, the ones that were supposed to be activated only in extreme circumstances. But why were they there in the first place? I don't know. Period. I also found this. I should put some like I turn the computer around to show him or something. I pull up the secret protocol file on the computer screen and turn it so that Shadow can see. Dinosaur's eyes scan the te scan the text, his expression growing more and more concerned as he reads Protocol Alpha. They gave me the power to do that, he whispers, his voice barely audible. It says right here at the bottom, though, to only use it whenever you need to protect me or the studio. Or the studio. Shadow's gaze returns to my face, his eyes filled with a strange mix of emotions, concern, protectiveness, and a hint of fear. Protect you and the studio at any cost. He repeats all his voice heavy with the weight of his new responsibilities. I see. I don't know what's going on. It shocked me as much as it did. You. It says right here that it was signed by a person with the letter A. Excuse me, take it going, dude. Show nods slowly, his mind racing with thoughts and questions. He looks back at the screen, his eyes fixed on the mysterious note at the bottom of the file. A. Hey, who could that be? One of the studio's creators? A high-ranking employee? Or perhaps someone else entirely? He wonders aloud. I wonder if there was somebody out there. Who, unlike most employees, actually did care about me and put this in the security system to make sure you still will protect me.
Period. But if that's the case, wouldn't they put also try to secretly sneak in a way for the program to recognize it's me? So that way they can stop? Shadow's expression softens at my words. He reaches out a metallic hand and gently places it on my shoulder. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is someone out there who truly cares about you. And if that's the case, then I owe them my gratitude. Let's see if we can find anything else. Period. If we don't, then I have an idea. I might see if I can give him face detection on this one, too. And make it to where, like, uh... Let's look through the rest of the security system's files. Shadow agrees, his curiosity peaked. Together, they spend the next several hours poring over the security system's files, searching for any other hidden secrets or mysterious protocols. Unfortunately, they find nothing else out of the ordinary. Well, there's nothing... Period. I want to ask you something. I have an idea that might work. Alright, Trenton. What's your idea? Shall I ask curiously his metallic referring so I wish he tries to anticipate what certain might suggest? Do you have a face detection feature on your system? Because maybe if I can get, maybe I can make it to where he can detect my face and he actually won't attack me if he recognizes it's me. Shadow tilts his head slightly to the side as he thinks, yes, I do. It's part of my standard security protocols, allowing me to recognize and remember faces. Why do you ask? Maybe it could be possible to make it to where you won't attack anyone you recognize as a friend or employee. Let's see if you think it's a good idea. Shadow's eyes light up with realization. You mean create a white list of sorts? A list of people whose faces I should recognize as non-threatening even if I trigger my aggressive protocols in other ways? That, that might just work. Yeah, but how would we set it up? He's already got the face detection, so now we gotta figure out how to keep him from becoming aggressive towards me. I can probably reprogram my face recognition software to include a whitelist function. Shadow says his mind already racing with the technical details. But I'll need your help to create the initial list of faces. We'll need to gather pictures of all the studio employees and anyone else you consider a friend or ally. Right now, I don't trust anyone. Especially my employees. After all the crap they have done. Period. The only one I trust is you. And that one mysterious person that wrote that small letter at the bottom. Shannon nods solemnly, his expression growing serious. All right, then. 
for now, let's focus on creating a list that includes just me and the mysterious and the benefactor who wrote that note. We can always add more faces to the list later. Once you feel safe enough to trust other people again, make sure to add me to that list. Because I am getting the full aggression from that system when it does that to you. So what's a low rumbling chuckle? Already ahead of you on that one, Trenton. Don't worry, you're at the very top of the list. He assures his young creator, now, let's get to work. It takes a while, but we get the face detection thing up and running. White list up and running. With the whitelist finally activated, show what's out of satisfied sigh. All right, Trenton. The system should now recognize both of our faces and the mysterious benefactors if we ever figure out who they are as non-threatening. We can test it out if you'd like. How? Question mark. I'm not going to turn them aggressive just to try that crap out. And by that I mean like Something like me trying to intentionally make him, I don't know how you'd say it. Why don't you come stand next to me, and then I'll purposely trigger my aggressive protocols. Shadow suggests, if the whitelist is working properly, I shouldn't react to your presence even when I'm supposed to be attacking. Alright, let's try it. Oh no. Shadow's eyes glow red as he purposely activates his aggressive protocols. He bares his teeth, his muscles tensing as he prepares to lunge forward. But as I step up beside him, Shadow's expression softens and he relaxes. His eyes return to their normal, gentle glow. It worked. Let's see. Shadow nods, a hint of relief in his voice. It does indeed. The white list is functioning as intended. As long as you and the mysterious benefactor are near, I shouldn't attack, even if my aggressive protocols are triggered for any other reason. He pauses, considering. Well, that's great. Period. But is it supposed to calm you down instantly? Instantly? If you see me? Period. So things are wrong before responding. From what I can tell, the whitelist overrides my aggressive protocols completely when I recognize one of the listed faces. It shouldn't just calm me down. It should effectively shut off my aggressive behavior entirely when you're present. He smiles slightly as heart's rate slowing. There we go. Well, that's good.
Yes, it is. Shadow agrees, so it's a huge weight off my mind to know that I won't accidentally harm you, even if something goes wrong with my systems. He placed a gentle metallic hand on my shoulder. I'm glad we got that sorted out. Oh my gosh, I'm already going to 23%. Me too, Trenton. Me too. Shaggy gives his young crater's shoulder a squeeze before removing his hand. Now, let's run a few more tests to make absolutely sure everything's working properly. Just to be safe. Shaggy suggests his mind already racing while I did for further tests. Okay, what do you have in mind? Shadow's eyes light up with enthusiasm. Well, we could try a few things. First, I could trigger my aggressive protocols from a distance to see if the whitelist still works when you're not right next to me. Okay. Oh, no. Why does he have an aggressive protocol anyway? That's the kind of crap that we... That I can understand like if there's an intruder in the building, but come on. Great. Let's start with that. Shadow backs up a few steps, putting some distance between himself and me before activating his aggressive protocols again. As he does, he focuses intently on his young creator, watching to see if the whitelist overrides his aggressive behavior, even when they're not touching. Is it working, buddy? His eyes turn red. That is terrifying as heck, dude. Shadow relaxes, uh, Shadow relaxes his expression softening once more as he sees my face. Yes, it is. He confirms, his voice calm and gentle, the whitelist is still overriding my aggressive protocols, even from a distance. That's a good sign, he pauses, considering. All of a sudden, Shadow starts to act weird for some reason. Uh, that's not a good sign. That whitelist thing better work. Shadow, please don't. You know what? So Shadow's movements grow erratic, his body twitching and convulsing as if controlled by some unseen force. So I, ew! His eyes roll back in his head, and a low, ominous hum begins to emit from his body. Oh, hey. Trenton, some some things wrong 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 with my with, with my with my systems. Excuse me. Calm down, Shadow. Use the white list thing again. List thing again, please. He's still going to attack me, isn't he? That was the point of that thing, was to not attack me, and he's still going to attack me. Watch. Shadow's face con contorts in pain as he fights to regain control. With a great effort, he activates the whitelist once more, his body relaxing as soon as he focuses on my face. The humming sound fades, and his eyes return to normal. Thank you, Trenton. Oh, stop glitching. That's so creepy. He's doing it on my name. It's even worse. <laughs> what just happened? Okay. 
Chad takes a deep, shuddering breath, his body shaking as he struggles to regain his composure. It seems there may be a flaw in my systems, he admits reluctantly. A rogue subroutine that attempted to override my primary functions, but the whitelist helped me regain control. We need to find what's causing that now before anything happens again. Agreed, Shadow says firmly. We need to run a full diagnostic and isolate the cause of that malfunction. But for now, let's make sure I'm stable. Let me try activating my aggressive protocols one more time, just to make sure the whitelist is still working properly. Okay. Please do not attack me, Shadow. You have that list now, and I'm on top of that flipping list. And the fact that he put me on top of that list tells you yeah, he thinks I'm really important. That's very cute of him. Shadow Nas then activates his aggressive protocols once more. He stares intently at me, but his body remains still. The white list clearly overrides any aggressive impulses. After a moment, he deactivates the protocol and relaxes. The light white list is still functioning as intended. He reports. Good. Let's get rid of that subroutine so you can function normally. Dude, this is terrifying. I'll need to access my core systems to locate and delete the rogue subroutine. Shall explain? It's a risky procedure as I could potentially crash or malfunction during the process. Excuse me? But if we don't fix it, there's a chance it could cause more problems in the future. Do it. Please don't malfunction. Please don't malfunction. Shadow, don't malfunction. Shadow not so, then lies down on the floor. His body goes still and his eyes gla glaze over as he enters diagnostic mode. I watch anxiously as Shadow's form flickers and shudders. His system's likely undergoing some sort of internal struggle. Fa found it. What's causing it? It seems the, the subroutine was triggered by a malfunctioning sensor deep within my core. The sensor was registering a constant state of threat, causing my, sis, causing my systems to con concentrate by attempting to eliminate the perceived danger, namely you. Excuse me? Why was your sister... System registering, registering me as a threat. Why was it causing me to? Why? why? Are you kidding me? Now, now the system's caught. My internal sensor seemed to have misinterpreted your body heat as that of a rival predator. Shadow explains his voice filled with frustration, given that I was, was programmed to see other large predators as threats. My systems tried to eliminate you. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, dude, what the freak? Yeah, we need to stop that now. Before it happens again. Let's see. I smell money. 
I smell money. Let's see. I'll need to recalibrate my internal sensors uh, to correctly identify you as a non-threat and to differentiate between human and non-human body heat signatures. I say he pauses for flickering once more, recalibrating. Uh, wait, flickering once more. Recalibration complete. Let's test it to be sure. Oh boy. Mm -mm -mm. Sure, let's do it. How's he going to test it? I wish he didn't take on. Shadow D activates his diagnostic mode and gets back up. He approaches me, his eyes scanning over him and over him intently. After a moment, he relaxes, his body language clear that he had no longer perceives me as a threat. The recalibration seems to have worked. Good. Oh my gosh. Dude. However... Uh, I don't like whenever he starts a sense what I would however. There's one more thing we should do just to be safe. Uh, let's see. Shadow Trails off as expression growing thoughtful. We should implement a safety measure. Uh, like what? What? Like what? How this thing does it. <laughs>